YBN and Amir based in LA. Oh, let's talk about that. Come on. So, the YB, did you see the shit with YBN and Amir getting Long Beach tatted mm-hmm. on them? What's your, what's your thoughts on that? Come on, you know that's personal. Because you know that's the, he, 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 he part of the homies hood now. What is he? They said he got put on. I heard he did get put on. I heard he did get put on. I heard he did. He hang with the real ones. But I heard, I mean, I heard from, yeah, all right, I'm going to leave that alone. I already did get put on. <clears throat> I already got pressed the other day at the hood that shit. <clears throat> and what happened? I don't know. Because you was there. They was with each other on the hood day. But it was it's, it's, it was two different groups. Uh, well, the two. Older and younger. You got to remember, that's younger. Well, well, half of the hood don't really get along with the other half of the hood. That's every hood right now. True. But the half that he do fuck with, they rocking with him. Are they? I mean, for, from what I see. I'm just asking. I'm, I'm saying for what I see, yes. Yeah. I mean, I've seen him around real you, reputable over think, there. Do you think, let's just, you know, do you think like, <clears throat> from uh, you know we're from here we we know how this shit work and we know what it's like at that age and with that like how he's entering bro niggas don't say nothing about grown ass men over 30 but listen though listen come into LA and start banging hoods but hear me out this how is a young impressionable nigga but listen though even everybody like just think about everybody in entertainment who then entered into the LA culture of game banging how did it end or how does it go like do you like with Chris Brown, right? Prime example. How did that shit? You know, when he came in, how did it? How did it end though? It didn't end. Oh, it, I mean, that that first wave of who he was hanging with ended. Yeah, but Chris still banging. Ain't he? But I'm saying, like it, it, it's like everything be good until everything is not good, and then they turn. You know what I'm saying? And then what started happening? You remember the first circle, the first wave of who was For around? sure, for sure. Yeah, they're gone. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, now watching this, just like, why be in the mirror? And it's like, damn, I wonder, like, is he going to crash out, like, trying to prove a point? Because, like, even on that text message, I mean, on that uh, group chat, or the chat in the uh, DM, like, how he was talking was crazy. You know what I mean? For him to be, like, an entertainer. Of that like magnitude, you can't do shit like that. And you're like talking to a fan like that, dog. That's crazy. You can't do shit like that. That's crazy. And I'm like, do you think he mean that, or do you think he like was just talking? And that's where it gets scary, right? Because like, you know, nigga, that shit when you get put on, or you're not from here, and then you be you're able to like d- be validated, and people embrace you, but it's really not a real organic. Day one and break. See, but you know, you know, this is two thousand. It's two thousand twenty-two, man. But you know, like it's like not a real. It's not a real validation, though. You know what I mean? But you know, niggas, niggas, but niggas do that with everybody nowadays. Yeah. You could be a nigga with some bread and start hanging around niggas, and niggas will niggas will let you bang the hood. Am I lying? Yeah, but I mean, you can be a rat to a certain extent. You could be a rat, and certain individuals Whoa. will still fuck with you. Whoa. Am I lying? Whoa. Am I lying? Yeah. Uh, you fucked with a rat. What rat I fucked with? Oh, no, that was me, huh? You said I fucked with a rat. You fucked with a rat, <laughs> nigga. 